I've got some soy sauce here. Yep. You don't need all of that, actually. Just a little bit. And some mirin. Yep. Mm -hmm. Rice wine. Mm-hmm. Rice wine. And Lovely. some sugar, just to sweeten everything <coughs> a bit. Okay. Because the soy sauce is obviously quite salty, so you don't need okay. to season it. Just some ginger. I'm just going to infuse it. I'm not actually going to serve the ginger in the dish because it can be quite harsh. But this is actually really finely chopped, so you could actually. And I'm just going to split a chilli and just let it uh, infuse. And then I'll actually strain that off. So just warm it all through because it, sort of, it will marinate all okay, the veggies so that, it together. It takes all the flavours and liquids. Yeah, and, and it will okay. all go into all that. And if we can just mix all these ingredients together in that, in that bowl. Brilliant. So should I, should I give you yeah. that? Do you want us to do anything? When, you, you could know. mix it all together okay, while I, I see the veggies. Yeah, 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 so all, all these in here. <coughs> Bacon or mooly. Yeah. Um, so, Sophie, you were at uh, Westminster College. That's uh, right. That's yeah. a big, big catering college in London, is that right? Yeah. What are you doing now? Um, I'm working in a restaurant in Notting Hill right. at the moment, but I'm also um, doing, still doing a lot of competitions. Okay. Um, I love those competitions. Do, yeah. Really like it's just the graduate awards and all that kind of stuff. Right. So, it's, it's, I'm really involved with competitions, working a lot with the Craft Guild of Chefs. Yes. Um, and doing a lot of, I'm trying to get like younger people involved in the industry, especially younger females. Right. I think it's well, that's hugely important. It's a future. Yeah. It's a future of our of our national. Well, it's such a male-dominated industry, and you know, I'm a girl. I work at my my sous chef, a female. And actually, I think that we make very good chefs. Of course you do. You know, are you, it's that are you whole multitasking thing. No, 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 no. Okay, so if you can just pass me a lime. Yep. And if you can put a couple of handfuls of those beans okay. into that salad. It's the sort of cooking I like. Oh yeah, no exact quantities. There we go. Okay, get all that mixed together. What did you actually cook? For that, I walk yeah. my thing. Oh, God, what did I cook? I had to cook venison, right. which is one of the reasons why I'm doing it today. I'm just going to finish this off in the oven. Okay. Like, not that you want to serve this quite rare, okay? So, how, how long in the oven? Six to eight, okay. quite rare. And at high heat? Mm, sort of 180. Okay. I'm just going to strain this through and then pour the warm dressing just all over there. Okay, so if you can just rip off a big handful of coriander. Yeah. Tell me, make it feel useless. Here. Oh, this is real skill it takes, this ripping mm. a coriander, I'll tell you. So the venison's pink. It's so much better eating pink like this, OK? OK. Because it's not got a lot of fat in it. And basically, there's nothing... If it dries out too much, yeah. if, you, if you overcook it, it's going to dry out. So you want it nice and rare. Just like that. OK, now we're ready to go, I think. That looks lovely. Lovely. Perfect. It's just a nice big handful of this nice salad. In there. That looks great. It really does. It's nice good. and colourful, isn't it? And then just pink venison like that. And then just these are deep fried pumpkin seeds. Ooh. So with lots of salt. And they just add a little bit of texture to the dish. And then maybe a little bit of garnish. Beautiful. That's yeah. lovely, Sophie. Thank you very oh, much. You're very welcome. Beautiful. This looks great. It's just it's a really healthy, nice. Yeah. That's perfect. A, really, a perfect summer salad. Mm. Thanks, Sophie. You're very welcome. Mm. Thank you.